Hello and good morning to all of you wonderful viewers and welcome back to the part two of preparing a rental. This is like I said part two. Part one came out yesterday and that's when I decorated the apartment or the house uh, that you can see on the right side of this house. And I will try to make this floor plan a bit different than the first house because in the first house we had the living room in the back and the kitchen when you entered but now I wanted to do do it the other way around so the kitchen will be at the end of the house and the living area will be more in the front so let's see I am using the appliances from um, home chef hustle because they are so gorgeous with that little light underneath <clears throat> it's beautiful and normally I do prefer the old looking counters from like cottage living or country kitchen those are my favorites but this is truly a runner-up and now I am trying out to see if maybe we can have a kitchen island uh, in here, but no. I am moving it around a bit, but then I change my mind and I will have a normal kitchen table instead. Because it makes it look so empty and there's only two seats. And in this house, I am actually uh, making enough room for four two adults and two children and of course you can change that if you like in the bedrooms but as I would play this house there would be four people living here and therefore I need a normal kitchen table with four chairs but now I am choosing upper cabinets and I have only got one full cabinet and the other ones are half because honestly the sims they don't use the cabinets at all so we truly don't need them but it looks good for storage that the sims doesn't use well, you get it you understand what I mean but I am up running a bit late this morning so I am going to leave you guys with some music while I continue decorating this house and I will go and start breakfast here in real life. So I hope you will continue watching when this second house is finished or getting decorated until it's finished. Oh see, they get a pizza oven. Now I will be back at the end of the video. So have a nice day and or have a nice watch and I hope to hear no not to hear you I hope you will hear me at the end of the video oh it's too early in the morning for English since English is not my first language as you both know both all of you know oh my lord here's some music
So, here I am again, and hopefully I can speak English now. I'm not sure, but I hope that I can. So now you've seen that we have been decorating for two children and two adults, and now we are just putting some extra string lights in the kitchen. That's kind of cute. And some curtains. So this house is pretty much finished now. And here I will give you some slides. So here's the front of the house. And now we are going into the middle part. The middle house. The front door. <clears throat> and where you keep your shoes. And a water bottle and a cape. And here's the living room table. And the TV. And the couch. Oh, it looks so cow cozy with the... All the cushions in it and the kitchen with some a teapot and some tea bags and stuff and the pizza oven oh yummy and another picture of the kitchen and now let's go upstairs to the tiny little hallway where there's a painting and some beautiful lights and a mirror and this is the kids room and it has got a weird angle it's like an L shape so it's kind of hard to take pictures in this room but they do have nice posters on the walls and an activity uh, bench table activity table and a computer and a dresser and some cuddly animals in bed oh yes they are not very good at keeping track of their towels. It's a bit messy in the bathroom. And the parents' bedroom and my favorite closet. And here's the sim that I'm using for the entire building. So that's about it, folks. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow in part three. Bye.